Hey, okay, do, finishing up hypothesis testing for two populations, uh, means and proportions. We're going to do a practice problem for two proportions. So here goes. Um, chapter 10, uh, question 32. An American Automobile Association, AAA study, investigated the question of whether a man or a woman was more likely to stop and ask for directions. The situation referred to in the study stated the following, quote, If you and your spouse are driving together and become lost, would you stop and ask for directions? A sample representative of the data used by AAA showed 300 of 811 women said that they would stop and ask for directions, while 255 of 750 men said they would stop and ask for directions. The AAA research hypothesis was that women would be more likely to say that they would stop and ask for directions. Formulate the null and alternative hypotheses for these studies. For this study, okay, so they have a research hypothesis, which means that's what they're trying to prove. Um, I'm, we're going to set it up so that if they reject the null, then since that's what they're trying to prove, that has to go into the alternative. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to let, let's just say, let population one be women, and let population two be men. You can formulate those however you want. And what, let's see, their null then, their alternative is going to be that the, po the proportion of women is higher than the proportion of men. So that's that P1 minus p2 is greater than 0, right? because p1 is greater than p2. The, the null, then, is going to be that p1 minus p2 is less than or equal to 0. That we get that from women would be more likely to say. Right? The proportion of women who would say that is higher. And we work our way to this. That's step 1. Those are the null, and it's also part A. Step one of my five-step approach, part A of this problem. What is the percentage of women who indicated that they would stop and ask for directions? Well, now this is going to help us get our samples. So the percentage of women who indicated that they would stop and ask for directions is going to be P bar 1. We're going to need that. And it's going to be 300 out of the 811. So we can just use division here. And let me see if I still have my Excel spreadsheet open. I do use a new sheet here. 300 divided by 8, 811. It's going to be 369.914. Actually, I'm going to do it like this so I can use those later. 0 0.3699, 37%. Okay. That's part B. Just once that 37% of women would. What's the percentage of men who indicated that they would stop? Well, that's going to be P bar 2. And that comes from right here, 255 of 750. So 255 divided by 750 is going to be uh, 255, 750, divide the 2, 0 0.34 on the, on the nose. So 34% of men exactly said that they that they would ask, stop and ask for directions. Okay, part D is asking us to uh, test the hypothesis at the 5% level. So, step two is to state our, hypo our uh, level of significance, 0 0.05. And step three is going to be to choose our test statistic. Now, because of what we know about the sampling distribution of, uh, of differences of population proportions, we know that we can use a z-test statistic that looks like this. P bar 1 minus P bar 2 over the square root of P bar times 1 minus P bar times the quantity 1 over N1 plus 1 over N2. You can look at your formula sheet if that's a little unclear, but that's what that is. 1 over N1 plus 1 over N2. So step 4 is going to be to collect our data and compute that. Let me switch colors up so that we're starting to work with real numbers. We're going to need P bar 1, P bar 2, P bar, N1, and N2. Those are the numbers, that the values that we need to calculate this. And when we're done, that will give us Z. So I can just put that here too. Z is going to be equal to P bar 1, which we have, 0 0.3699. We have P bar 2, which is 0 0.34. N1 is going to be the number of women, because we let population 1 be women. And uh, we already used that once. It's 811. 
and 2 is going to be the number of men, which is 750. And the last thing we need is the pooled p bar, which is the pooled estimator of p. That's assuming that their the populations look the same. Uh, what's the pooled proportion? The way we do that is we just take all the people who said yes, right? That's the, the, the number here is all the people who, would say, who, said, who said yes, divided by the total number of people that there are. Um, so there are 555 people out of the both combined samples that said they would ask for directions. Out of And the total people who were asked was 1,561, which means of the people asked, 35.55% said yes. So that's going to be our P bar. Oops. So 0 0.355, 0 0.3555 is our P bar. Now we can start plugging this stuff in. 0 0.3699 is p bar 1 minus 0 0.34 over the square root of 0 0.3555 times 1 minus 0 0.3555. What is that equal to? 0 0.6444 or 6445, depending. Use 6445. Times 1 over n1. 1 over 811 plus 1 over 750. And the square root of that whole big thing. So you can calculate the numerator. It's going to be uh, this minus this. 3699 minus 0 0.34 gives 0 0299. 0 0.0299. And then what's on the bottom? Let's see. I'm going to want to take 0 0.355. Three lots of fives times 0 0.6 lots of fours. Um, those multiplied together gives us 0 0.22913. Then we're also going to want 1 divided by 811 and 1 divided by 750. So 0 0.00123 and 0 0.00133. We're going to add these together. And we're going to multiply this 0 0.00257 times the product of uh, this right here, 22913. Zero 0.00059 is what that gives us. So down here, this is 0 0.0059, but we got to take the square root of that. So the square root of that is 0 0.02425. So our z is 0 0.0299 divided by 0 0.0225 which is going to be, your answers may vary with rounding. I haven't rounded at all. Uh, that's not right. It's 02991 divided by 02425. 1.234 is what we get. 1.234? OK, that's good. That's a, that's, that's a Z-ish value. Seems reasonable. So 1.234. Just looking at this, I can tell that it's not going to be in the rejection region. We're not going to reject it. We can find the p-value, though. So let's do that. OK, we have uh, what's our t-table. We don't need our t-table. We need a z-table. Let's turn our question into a picture now, just while we're here. So we have our curve here. And this is our z-distribution. Centered at zero, that's the mean. Standard deviation of one. And let's bust out a different color here for our, what our value is. We've got a z of 1.234. Call it 1.23 for now, just to, because that's all the precision we're going to be able to find on our z table anyway. We want to know what this area is here, right? Because if p1 is greater than p2, right? Whatever. If we have a high value, p1 minus p2, then we're going to reject the null. But if we have a low value, we're, we're not. So if it's up here, or if there's not much room up here, we're going to reject the null. So how much room is here? Well, we can, that's going to be our p-value. And we can look it up. 1.23. Okay, well, if we look up 1.23, what you'll see is uh, 0.3907 is what you get there. That tells you the area between 0 and z on this table. 0 0.3907. Right? That's this right here. We want to know the blue area, and that's going to be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.3907, which is 10994, 0 0.1093. That's our p-value. 
So one tail test, so we don't need to double it. Just leave it like that. And that's our p-value. What's our conclusion? Is that what the question was asking? Let's look at the question again. What is the p-value, and what conclusion would you expect AAA to draw from this study? Um, well, there's a 11% chance this is random. This is greater than our alpha, which was 0 0.05. What this means is we cannot reject. Do not reject. That's DNR. Do not reject H0. What that means is that this is consistent with the idea that there's no difference, right? Um, or that men actually uh, are more likely to, to request directions. Um, we can't reject the possibility that this is just random variation. Um, so if I were, you know, what conclusion should AAA? Well, you know, men and women are just about as equal, just about equally likely to, to ask for directions. There's not a big difference. There's, there, there might be some difference. Certainly our samples showed some difference, 37% um, versus 34%. At the same time, that's not big enough to really change maybe a company's behavior. It's not statistically different. So that's how we do tests of, uh, of two population proportions. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment or uh, shoot me an email at jjdelaney at ualr.edu. And uh, next time we talk, um, we'll be working on population variances. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.